for geometric questions, uh, every information that you have uh, immediately, uh, there should be some indication come up in your mind. And then you should make good use of the information. So first time they say that AD is tangent to this circle. And then we brainstorm the relation. We know whenever there is a tangent, center to this tangent will be perpendicular. Also, if we have the angle in this segment, then the alternate segment. That means this angle touch this line. Do not touch this line. We are talking about this angle. This and this are the same. So now they give us 48 is touch AB. And do not touch this line. That means this angle. So this angle is also 48 degree. Maybe there are some other implications useful, but we may just proceed. They say I is the in center of triangle ACD. ACD, in center, which means if there is an inscribed the circle just fit inside the triangle, then the corresponding center is called in center. That makes sense, right? And then uh, I lines on AB. If we know that angle BAD is 48 degree, our target is ADC here. And then we are going to use the property of in center. For in center, basically is derived from tangent from external point. If there is a tangent from this external point, then from the center we can draw two uh, congruent right angle triangle. So this line and this line are the same. This angle and this angle are the same. That's why we say that from the vertex of triangle to the in center will be the angle bisector of this angle. So maybe we have some finding if we connect the center to the vertex of the triangle. We just need to draw two lines, this line and this line, and this one is already connected to A. So this is 48, then this one is also 48 degree because of the in-center property. So together with our target angle, we already have uh, one, two, three angles become 180, 48 degree, and then plus uh, angle CAB, 48 plus 48 degree, and then plus your target, angle ADC is equal to 180 degree. So angle ADC is equal to 36 degrees here.